Good morning, you guys. I am just checking in to say hi from bed. I'm about to work on editing, but I'm really not vlogging until later tonight when I go to dinner because I'm just gonna be working all day. But I am going to one of the most incredible restaurants I've ever been to, one of my absolute faves, so I needed to vlog it because I didn't get to vlog it last time. I am going to this amazing restaurant tonight and I wanted to film some of the food there because it's so cool. Let me show you my outfit really quickly because I do have to leave. So I'm just wearing this sweater. This is the one that I got yesterday from Topshop. Um, so cute, so comfy. I love it. Um, and then my Zara jeans, 2020 half belt, Steve Madden booties. And I am heading out now because I'm running a little late. So let's go. Yeah. What? Okay, this is the drink. It, it's not even really a drink, but it does have alcohol in it. it they like literally freeze the liquid, so that turns into a slushy. It's the coolest thing ever, Jackie. Oh, <laughs> spooky. <laughs> okay, first thing that we got is cotton candy. Fragua. Fragua. Yes. Fragua. Fragua. <laughs> Cheers. Let's eat it. <laughs> mm. So good. Okay, next up, caviar cones. These are so good. I die over them. Okay, so this is the watermelon sushi. It's so good. It has soy foam on top. Delicious. What? This is so cool. Whoa. Just got home from dinner. It is actually almost two in the morning, if not two in the morning now, let's see. Yeah, it's actually two oh eight, so <laughs> it's just one of my absolute favorite restaurants. What's up guys? It is a few days later and I'm just about to head out to lunch with my friend Mitchie. We're gonna grab some poke. I know it's a big surprise, me eating poke. <laughs> I actually need to get out of here though, so let me just show you my outfit really quickly. It is gorgeous weather in Los Angeles for the next couple of days. I think it's like up in the 80s today, which is so exciting. Not that I don't love my sweater weather, I really do, but this is fun too. So I'm just wearing this tube top from Brandy. My shorts are Urban. My belt is Princess Polly. My shoes are Steve Madden. And we are ready to head out to meet up with Mitchie. It is a gorgeous Los Angeles day. Like, could this weather be any better? Wow. I'm so happy. Okay, we made it to Mainland Poke Shop with Mitchie. Hello. Hi. <laughs> and we just got our poke. I've never been to this poke place before, but it looks incredible, so I'm really excited. Hi guys, I've been home for so long. Sorry I wasn't vlogging. I literally have just been working. I was filming, a, wow, words. I was filming a new video, answering emails, answering comments, working on a different project that I'm not talking about right now. So it's just been all work, no fun things to even share with you. <laughs> and now I'm going to take my makeup off because I'm going to the gym. And people who work out in makeup are freaking crazy. Like, aren't you uncomfortable? Aren't you sweating? Why would you want to do that? And then after the gym, we'll come back here and cook some dinner. Going a little bit later than normal, so I'm hoping that it's not packed. It's only like 5.30, so fingers crossed. Hi guys, uh, I'm back home from the gym. I worked out for like an hour and a half and it was definitely more crowded than it was during the day, but it wasn't terrible. I came home, took a shower, and now I am ready to make some food. So I'm making this vegan chili recipe, um, but I am sort of using two different recipes and then also just changing it to be what I like. I don't really like beans except for garbanzo beans, chickpeas. So these are the only beans that are going in. A lot of vegan recipes obviously use a lot more beans than that because beans are like a huge part of a vegan diet. We are doing celery and carrots. So I have this. I'm only gonna use the celery out of here and then I'm chopping my own carrots. It's a little less than two cups of quinoa, so. Let's pour that in there. Actually, maybe we'll use the broth to cook the quinoa. 
just for some extra flavor when we're cooking it. Okay, meanwhile, I'm just gonna prep our veggies and then I'll come back when you do this. Okay, I am letting this pot heat up. Our quinoa is cooking, all of our veggies are prepped. So we are like ready to get started here. So we're just going to start with a little bit of oil, bottom of my pan, I'm using grapeseed oil. And of course, dropping some onions in there. That's good. Also just gonna go ahead and drop our celery and carrots as well. Okay, great, and we are just going to saute all of that up. Now we're gonna add some seasoning. We need a teaspoon of chili powder. Chipotle chili powder, cumin and oregano, a little bit of cinnamon, and then we're gonna do garlic. This is smelling amazing already. Okay, we're just gonna mix all of that in there. I'm going to do a whole jar of tomato sauce in here. Okay, a whole can of chickpeas is going in there, and our corn. Now we're doing our salt, a healthy portion of pepper. I sort of want to do some garlic powder also. And I'm doing a touch more chili powder also, just for the measure. I'm gonna add some of my veggie stock in there also. Okay, now we're just gonna cover it, turn down the heat, and let it simmer for 20 minutes. Um, and in the meantime, I'm gonna clean up my kitchen and then we'll be back with a new delicious meal. All right, it's a simmering, so I'm going to plate up, turn this off, and eat. Okay, here's our completed chili on our quinoa. Looks amazing. Let's do our taste test. Okay, I'm just gonna mix this up a little bit. I'm gonna try it like this. I might also add some avocado on top. I think that could be good. Hmm. Mmm, that's so good. Has the perfect amount of spice without it being like too much for me. Obviously, you can add more spice if you really like spicy things, but so good. I have no idea how this happened or what I was even doing, but I was just on my laptop and then I looked up and it was 11.30 at night. Like I literally don't even have a recollection of what I was doing on my laptop. I was like, I must've been like working. I was working on some stuff. I just like, I don't get it. <laughs> I ate dinner at, 8 p.m. and now it's 11.30. Uh, but lots of TV, lots of junkie TV is on tonight. Uh, Siesta Key and Teen Mom. So I'm gonna put on Siesta Key just because it's so bad, but I just really like it. <laughs> so that's gonna be my show of choice for the night. Guys, you should totally follow me on Instagram if you aren't. I've been trying to step up my game, change up my feed a little bit. Look at how cute these look. I literally spent all day yesterday making these. Love them though. And I've been trying to step up my stories also. Like I did a whole story on the food that I made in today's vlog. And I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. I think it looks pretty awesome. Might do a video on it. Let me know if you guys be interested in that. But moral of the story, you guys should follow me on Instagram. <laughs> okay, it is 12.30. I'm going to go to bed. I'm like turning into a little bit of a night owl. And it's not good. I need to like get it under control. Cause I like being able to like wake up in the morning and have my mornings. And I don't even get up that early in the morning. I'm talking like 9.30. But when I start staying up until like two or three in the morning, which I've been doing so much lately, it's just really hard for me to get out of bed. So anyway. I'm gonna go at least lay in bed because it's a start, right? <laughs>